While the AWS managed policies will meet your needs much of the time, you will occasionally need to create a custom customer managed policy with very precise permissions to specific resources. In this lesson, I'll walk you through the process of creating a custom policy and assigning very specific permissions to it. I'll first need to create my custom policy, then I can create a group and attach my custom policy to it, and finally I'll create my users and assign them to my group. To navigate to the policy page, click on the Policies link located on the left side of the page. Then click on the Create Policy button located on the top right hand side of the page. When creating custom policies, you can start from an existing AWS managed policy and then customize it, use the policy generator to assist you in creating it, or write it from scratch in JSON. In this example, I'll use the policy generator by clicking on the select button to the right of the policy generator label. First notice that effect has two options, allow and deny. By default, all permissions are denied unless you explicitly provide allow statements. Deny statements trump allow statements. In this example, I want to provide a group of users access to get and put objects into a specific bucket through the management console. To accomplish this is actually trickier than you might think. Since the users will need to access the bucket from the management console, I will need to create usernames and passwords for each user so that they have login credentials. Secondly, since the management console actually makes API calls to populate the user interface, I will need to provide some additional permissions to the user to accomplish that as well. Finally, I'll need to specify the ARN of the bucket I want them to have access to and specify that they can only get and put objects into that specific bucket. In the first statement, I'll allow actions that will be used by the management console to display the buckets in this account. To create a statement, I'll select allow as the effect and Amazon S3 from the AWS service pull down list. Under Actions, I'll select Get Bucket Location and list all my buckets by selecting the checkboxes to the left of each action. Under Amazon Resource Name ARN, I'll enter an Amazon Resource Identifier that uses the wildcard asterisk to allow these operations to be run against all my buckets by entering the following syntax. ARN colon AWS colon S3 colon 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 and then the asterisk. Keep in mind that this statement is not providing access to the buckets, only access to discover and display them in the management console. To add the statement to my policy, I'll click the add statement button and the statement will display below. Next, I'll make another statement that allows the list bucket action on my target bucket so that the management console can display all the objects within that bucket. To create a statement, I'll select allow as the effect and Amazon S3 from the AWS service pull down list. The list bucket action on my target bucket. In the ARN field, I'll provide the ARN to my bucket by entering ARN colon AWS colon S3 colon 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 then my bucket name followed by a forward slash and an asterisk and then click add statement to create it. Finally I'll add a statement that allows get object and put object on all resources within the target bucket. Again I'll select allow as the effect Amazon S3 from the pull down selector get object and put object on all resources within the target bucket and then enter the ARN of my bucket and then I'll click add statement. When my policy is complete click on the next step to review the policy and or make changes to it. While you can use the policy name automatically created I prefer to name my resources something meaningful. In this case, I'll name this policy Bucket Access. You can also provide a description in the description field, but it is not required. If you make a mistake, such as providing it the wrong ARN, you can edit the JSON directly. 
If you do, be sure to click Validate Policy before clicking the Create Policy button. While it can't validate that you have provided the correct bucket name, it can verify that you didn't invalidate your JSON. In this example, while I provided it the correct ARN, I needed to add a forward slash asterisk to make this statement work. The get and put operations are also run against objects and not buckets, so the forward slash asterisk provides permission to get or put any object within that bucket. Everything looks good, so I'll click Create Policy to confirm. Upon successful completion, the List of Policies page will display. To filter the list to Customer Managed Policies, select it from the Filter pull-down list. Now that I've created my policy, I'm ready to create a group and attach my policy to it.